This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing our third lesson on equations, which is equations with brackets. So before we begin, let's revise our rules again. The first one is what you do to the left hand side, you must do to the right hand side. So if you add 8 to the left hand side, you must add 8 to the right hand side. The second rule is that you want to separate your variables from your constants. So make sure that when you simplify, you have your variables on one side and your constants on the other side. Third rule, when you simplify, you want to make sure that you've got one term on the left and one term on the right. And then lastly, we need to divide or multiply to solve for x. So let's look at example one. We've got 3 and in brackets x plus 7 is equal to negative 28. Now what we need to do is we need to remove the brackets. And how do we get rid of the brackets? We get rid of the brackets by multiplying in. So let's do that. We need to multiply 3 by x and 3 by 7. 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 7 is 21. Now from our rules, we remember that we want our variables on one side and we want our constants on the other side. So it's easier to take that positive 21 over to the other side, to the negative 28. That leaves us with 3x is equal to negative 49. And what do we need to do? We now need to solve for x. So we divide by the number in front of the x on both sides. 3x divided by 3 is x, and 49 divided by 3 is 16 and a third. That leaves us with an answer of negative 16 and a third. Let's look at example 2. Okay, so here we have 5 times x plus 1 in brackets minus x minus 3 in brackets is equal to 16. Now, again, we need to get rid of the brackets, so let's do that. So we need to multiply 5 by x, and we also need to multiply 5 by 1. And then what's important to note here is that there's a negative in front of the bracket, but it's actually a negative 1, which we need to multiply into the bracket. So let's do that. 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 1 is 1, and then negative 1 times x is negative x and negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 and that's equal to 16. What do we need to do now? We need to add our like terms and we need to simplify. Let's do that. That leaves us with 4x plus 8 is equal to 16. But remember we need our variables on one side and we need our constants on the other side so we are going to take the 8 over to the right hand side but please don't forget that it changes sign. That leaves us with 4x is equal to 8, but we need to divide by 4 on both sides. To solve for x, that leaves us with x is equal to 2. Let's look at example 3. We've got 3x minus 5 is equal to 6x minus, and in brackets, x plus 2. So again, there's an invisible 1, which we need to multiply out into the brackets. Let's do that. So negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. What do we need to do now? We need to simplify. Let's simplify. So on the right hand side, we added our like terms. 6x minus x is 5x, and we have negative 2, which we carried down. So we have 3x minus 5 is equal to 5x minus 2. But remember, we want to separate our variables from our constants so we want one on the left and one on the right let's do that this time let's take the 3x over to the right hand side and bring the negative 2 over to the left hand side so it's going to be 5x minus 3x because the 3x changes sign and we have minus 5 but when we bring the 2 over it will change sign and become a positive 2 
That leaves us with minus 5 plus 2, which is negative 3, and then 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x. However, we need to solve for x, so we need to divide by 2 on both sides. That leaves us with x is equal to negative 3 over 2, or negative 1 and a half. Today, I'd like to send a special shout out to Ethan Barnes. I hope that you are studying and you are preparing for your exams. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon. And then, if you need tuition in maths, English, Afrikaans, physics or accounting, grades 1 to 12, we are based in Lotus River, Cape Town, and we can help you. Please feel free to call me on the number on the screen. Thank you for watching.